Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking her? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. Hmm. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. I'll see you around, Shepard. No doubt. <laughs> Destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with the Cerberus Synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. Keep doing what you're doing with Alliance R&D. We need our best minds at work giving us every advantage possible. I'm a field doctor, Commander. Not a research scientist. Eden Prime, the Battle of the Citadel, defeating the Collectors. We've been through too much together to let it end now. Let me serve on the Normandy. Please, Commander. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking Bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker's still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? How is Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just down the hall. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Incursions by enemy forces are being reported in terrain column. Patient stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freyland. Narrow splint still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required spatial bindings. Meet you back.
You got pretty banged up there, Williams. Had me worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. You hang in there, all right? I need you up and reporting for duty ASAP. You hear me, soldier? You need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. See you soon. Shepard, please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Commander, Counselor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Counselor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. And while I haven't always agreed with Udina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the War Summit, but 
We lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palapin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. I told you this would happen, and you did nothing. We can argue the past later, if you like. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <sighs> our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Mm. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that? <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. They're in for a rude awakening. Every species will fall one by one if they don't work with us. No shit. Can't believe it's even up for debate. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. Ma'am, I can't say when we're deploying or where or why. What's going on here? Commander! Just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you want an interview? Even better. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye aye, Commander.
Ayara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit... I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. I need the Normandy functional. What exactly have you done to my ship? We upgraded communications and removed most of the Cerberus tech, Commander. Meaning? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. The Council's been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. 
We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. You can count on it, sir. It's not just me, it's everyone back on Earth. Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces have to hold out until we deal with the enemy. I understand, Admiral. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. The Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. You're not alone here. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark IV. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? Carry on, specialist. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Brokers ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. We can figure out what it does later. Our priority is getting it built. Just give me some warning before you flip the switch. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt, I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard. It's been more than a half a year. 
Should we continue where we left off? I'd like that more than anything, Liara. Good. I was getting worried. There are a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list, but later? There's so much left to do. I'm working with Edie, hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? Thank you for the data packet. The results are available on the Information Network Terminal. Commander? Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. If I ever told you I don't like doctors? Don't be such a grouch. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Good work, Lieutenant. What have you got? Dios! Straight to business without even a hello? You two need to chill out. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Keep up the good work. Yes, Commander. <clears throat> hey, Shepard. <clears throat> How'd it go with the council? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yep. We're going to rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you come down here for something? Or are you just looking? <sighs> it's my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. <sighs> Fair enough. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service record. <clears throat> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Yes, I can, Lieutenant. You pulling rank on me, boss? We're just soldiers down here, no? Sure. But this soldier will clean the floor with you if you step out of line. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <laughs> nice. What do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? 
It was either them, or the intel we had on the Collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. You a shrink, too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So. Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn... Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. No nicknames, Lieutenant. Okay? Your ship, your rules. Your loss. Commander. Mm -hmm.